Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Inscription. We're gonna try to hatch some eggs today and we're not gonna be using grizzlies though. I I can't hear anything, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Um, I think this is a little difficult for me. Instead, we're gonna rock. Why not annoying? The eggs don't do any damage by default, so sure, they're just they're blockers. Uh, squirrels give me these two, and then we need to take one more negative. Totems? Regular battles replaced with totem battles? Because this only gets us up to 115. We could go to we could go down to one life, but that is super, super, super risky. And I don't know if I want to do that. We could also uh, get rares if we do that though. And then uh, hold an extra item and allow re-rolling. Maybe he actually give us the hook. No, give me the re-rolling. Let's try to make this work. Although I think that this is not gonna be very easy. I think this is gonna suck. I think the curious eggs are terrible. A card bearing the sigil hatches when drawn if the numbers one through five are represented in the health of creatures in your deck and power, and there's a creature of each tribe in your deck. What will this card do? I have no idea. But you know what we could do is just put that on another card. We could just merge it onto something else, I suppose. I will take Direwolf Pup. I will take a... By this to the the not bad. Beaver's a pretty good blocker, but it's a little expensive. Mealworm for two bones. We have bones in the eggs already. Yeah, because what I'm thinking is in theory you could put hatch. Finical hatching? Oh finical, yeah. We could put hatching on another card, and then if we happen to get, you know, one through five, we can actually hatch these, but... I think I'll take a... Hmm. I'm gonna take the bell tentacle. Two expensive cards, but, you know, hopefully it works. And... The eggs don't even have a type. We only have one totem thing. What are we gonna merge? <laughs> we could put curious egg in something. No, just give me uh give me a totem, I guess. The eggs also have sigils in them. I don't think the eggs count as types though. I'll go lizards. Lizards are an okay type, I feel. But yeah, I think I think this is going to be one of those challenges where you probably can't even do it on. Yeah, uh, it doesn't count for types because it actually lights up depending on how close you are. Uh, I don't think this is going to be a very good card. Can't even play it. Uh, I think I'm going to look away, by the way. I'm gonna accept that we're not doing anything on turn one. But then I can get the wolf pup out. Whatever it hatches into has to just be an instant win, right? The Nor, you are correct. I f <laughs> good. I feel like though. It's got to be more than that. It's got to be like a meta unlock because there already exists ways in this game that you can instantly win on turn one with your draw. Like you can just draw a mantis or a mantis god or something. So whatever's in the curious egg has to be exceptionally unique for it to be worthwhile at all. Otherwise, I think it's just, it's too, I think it's just too bad of a card. I think it's just too terrible. 
We got a mantis! Let's go. Buff him. Buff him. Plus two health. Okay, you're going on the mantis. Yes. Yeah, it's a uh, finicky. Finicky hatching, whatever the card is. Looks like it'll take the whole run to meet the requirements. Yeah, that's the thing. So we have a bug and we have a wolf. So we have two types, one health. No, we have a one health and a three health and we have one damage on all of our cards. Yeah, health, damage, type. That's what's on the uh, the surface of the egg there. So Kingfisher will move. Uh, Beehive will give us bees. So I think we actually want the uh, Mantis down here. We could actually play the Dire Wolf, because now that we have a bone, we can play the Curious Egg and use it as a as a sacrifice. I don't think we need to, though. I think we're fine with the Mantis being out. It should be able to tank whatever is gonna be out. And it's gonna give us bees. And now we've got another bee. They're just gonna move back and forth, I guess. We're gonna have to like, whoops. We're gonna have to very particularly add cards. We need to add cards that have specific numbers or types to them. We got another mantis. Let's go. I've never been happier. Okay, so we have lizards. I don't even know if we have any lizards, but if we have lizards, they'll get stronger in one turn. Imagine this with bugs. Our mantises will get stronger in one turn. And there's totems coming up, so I am tempted. This also gives us an item every time it's played. It's so good. I'm gonna play you here. I want the bees, honestly. The kingfishers will not be too big of a problem. Dude, 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 dude. That river otter will never be playable. We've got two bees in hand, and I guess the direwolf pup right a space. Oh, right, we can't sack a bee for a bee. Direwolf pup doesn't matter. You just need five cards. I guess that's true. If you had a one, one, a two, two, a three, three, a four, four, and a five, five of all types, you, you could get it. Get it! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could add a wolf pelt. I will. Um, it might help to enable us to get the cards that we need, and maybe that's a good reason to take that card. That, uh... The pelt. Didn't mean to do that. We need to think about sacrificing. Dire wolf, pup, and a mantis. It costs us the wolf, but we'll probably get another wolf in the future. A mantis that grows stronger is very, very, very good. And it's a 1-1. One, one. You know, we already have one one in the deck. Wolf, we can add whenever. I think we want the stats though. It's also really nice because generating bones means we can play those eggs and use them as sacrifice fuel, which ultimately makes this very similar to the zero cost deck.
Lizards duplicate? That's a that's pretty good. I don't have any lizards in the deck, but why did I not take the duplicate? <laughs> I'm a fool. We could have had duplicating mantises. I'm an I'm a moron. Well, they'll grow stronger. Except for the one that already has that sigil inside of it. I'm a fool. You know what's, what's funny is that if we play Curious Egg, Curious Egg will buff my own units. Hey, Pixely, welcome. How are you doing today? So it's at the end of the turn when he does that, I guess. Although we do kill the egg now that I think about it, so that doesn't really help that much, does it? Total misplay, total misplay. I just want my other mantis. <laughs> we're gonna have a bit of a problem when it comes, actually we're not gonna have a problem when it comes to the bait buckets. Mantis will just hit around the bait bucket. So we'll play, um, we'll just play the uh, hand tentacle over here on the side. What am I, what am I doing? I'm just, pass. Pixley says play Palatro. Yeah, one of these days I should. There you are. People keep talking about it. They keep saying I should play it. Just realize I actually don't have any way of getting the mantis out right now. Because I was trying to dig into it. Now I can play it. When he says that, it means he's gonna play it in like two years. Maybe, maybe not, you never know. Yeah, so the mantis turns into a mantis god when it upgrades. Look at that. Instead of gaining more stats, it gains one more attack. Which I guess if you had the um, the middle attack already active on the card, that wouldn't help so much. But you do get mantis gods. We've learned that now. <laughs> Someone's an optimist. I was kind of hoping it would give me more damage, because that would be worth more, but I guess not. One, two, three, four. Okay, next turn you will die. Fish. And then we just do this, and you're dead. Connie says Bellatro is very cool. I, I understand that uh, a lot of people have been enjoying it. I should check it out at some point. I can get rares! Wow! Well, I mean, the Dallas is a 2-2, two -two, so that handles... It's a 2-2 two -two elk, so that handles two cards. On the eggs, and then we can get closer to the eggs, but we need a 3-3, three -three, a 4-4, four -four, and a 5-5 five -five still. So we have full items. This would have also given us a 2-2, hilariously enough. That's a duplicator, though. Ooh. 
Nambi says, Abe, I have cheese and crackers. I should go to the store and get more cheese and crackers because cheese and crackers are delicious. Yo, turkey vulture with the mantis. It's a 3-3 three, three, and it's a bird. We got to go for it. So we have, we're more than halfway there. We just need four, five, and a couple of more types. Okay, okay. I love cheese and crackers. Of course, with a little bit of salami on top. <laughs> and delicious. Remember to also get creamer when you run out of creamer, it's a tragedy, says Pixely. I am almost out of coffee creamer, actually. I have like one more day left. I don't, I didn't, why am I looking at this? <laughs> I think I hit the wrong button. Uh, porcupine. All of, all of the enemies are spiky. That's very dangerous. But if I play, Ma you're not gonna like this. If I play Mantis in the corner, Porcupine will live. Or rather, Porcupine won't kill me. If I play Mantis here, it'll die next turn. You know what, though? If I play the tentacle on the left, it'll die in two turns. Like, it'll kill the rabbit next turn and then we'll win. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Card? If we take the goat, we can win on turn one. So I'm, I'm going to do that. We don't win on turn one, because the Mantis is not a Mantis god. We'll win on turn two. No, we won't. We'll win on turn three. <laughs> we'll win one of these days, okay? Actually, you are going to hit me. We'll do no damage on this turn. We'll take three. And then we'll hit you for four next turn. So we've already won. I got another one. <laughs> We should definitely use our wide out. Okay, let's see if we can get a, a sick card. We have more pelts coming up? I, dude, I have way too many pelts. Blood sigil health. We have a lot of health, but sigils are still pretty good because the eggs are worth two on their own. We have pelts in the deck, which are worth zero, but yeah, there you go. So we need fours and fives, which we didn't get. Uh, Kingfisher gives us a second Kingfisher. It's not bad. Wild Bull gives us a rabbit. Porcupine can't get hit. I think we'll go Kingfisher on this one. Not a big fan. Myco the Pelts. If we find a mycologist, yeah. Tribes are we missing? We need lizards and we need uh lost a lot of health, but it's still a mantis god. Uh yeah, and a wolf, because we did get rid of our wolf to put it inside of a mantis. Ah, oh, mantises are so weak now. Mole turkey vulture. And douse. Well, I 
This a chime out. Do 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 do. Okay, so the mole is dead. Raven will come out and then die next turn. I know, I know. Turkey Vulture strong. We're exactly dead on this turn. If I get rid of flying, the turkey vulture can't kill me, but I will lose the mantis god. Feel like that's actually okay. Or, um, you know what? Hate to do this. <laughs> good, good, pliers. That'll work. Should have taken a, uh, should have taken a squirrel I could have won already. Instead, I will win next turn with the squirrel and then use the pliers because I don't want the pliers. This heathen sacrificed a god. <laughs> it had to be done. Cover your ears and your eyes. I should just like, mute my audio when that happens, just for my own benefit. How do chimes differ from dams? So when a chime gets hit, the creature that summoned the chime attacks in retribution. So the douse can do two damage to whatever hits the chime for free. Each chime. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Pretty acceptable. Um, can't even afford a pelt. Can't afford anything. Okay. What's our current totem? Lizards are better. Okay, not particularly great. Why don't we go for a new totem then? Birds are better. Wolves are better. I mean, we have a kingfisher. It upgrading is not bad, and we have another one in the deck. We have a couple of birds, actually. So birds get better after a turn. Although, I guess we could make elks get better, then the douse is a little bit stronger, along with the pack rat. We got our mantis god. Our mantis god is back. He's back and he's a mantis god. You're not gonna like this though, but we do have to play mantis god in the corner to keep him alive. He'll kill the elk next turn. But if I play him in the middle, he'll just die. So we gotta play him here. I don't know which direction the elks are gonna move, so we'll just do it like this. you there. Mantis God. Well, my Mantis is dead. <laughs> yeah, that one bounced. I guess they both bounced back a little bit. Um, My Mantis is back and he's getting into trouble. Hey now, hey now, the Mantis is back. I could play the Pack Rat. <laughs> Rabbit pelt. Ugh, ugh. Also, he's not a mantis god. He was the other one. He gave me an item. I'm a fool. He was dead anyways. Hey, Pappy, welcome. Yes, I've uh, we've been playing a lot of this inscription lately. It's pretty fun. Elk will uh, block this elk, which I like. 
Now we're gonna play Mantis next turn. Much better. Pixely says, for some arcane reason, my sub lasts less time than the cooldown on the prime sub. Really wonder why it's not the same timer. Probably, be, probably because your sub is like, it only lasts for 28 days. That's my guess. I got a lot of annoying units being summoned pretty soon. We can get a pack rat out. I love just looking at my knuckles. The day is correct, just not the time. I was subbed when I joined the stream. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, Pronghorn will die. You know, uh, the egg blocks one damage but we're not dead as is, so. Might as well hold it for a turn. In case I can use it to play another card next turn. Yeah. Oh! Connie! Speaking of subbing, thank you for the resub! Thank you. Kaka. Pixely says, it says I can sub on the 25th, but it's currently 11.40 p.m. It's 5.40 p.m. for me right now. Okay. Hit. Hit, 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 hit. We are living. Thanks to that Kingfisher. Which is now an Elder Kingfisher. <laughs> Look, we got very close to death, but hey, we know what we're doing, right? Raven Grizzly Bat. Grizzly gives me a four in the attack power category. I could also re-roll. Um, it's no, t there's no type on it though. Is there, is there even a five damage card? We might have to buff the grizzly damage by one to even get to a five. I do like that it's a triple sacrifice, uh, or rather, a, it's a strong card, but it is hard to play. That's right, copy it to get minus one HP. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Honestly, though, I'm not a, against the eggs just being fodder. Seems to be working. Metafusion, welcome. How are you doing today? Uh, totem upgrade or totem sacrifice? What would be. You know, Douse in the Grizzly is kind of hilarious. A 4-6 that can hit enemies and also be a, bo a blocker. That's kind of cool. But if we upgrade, we could make Grizzly a 5, or we could make Vulture a 4, which doesn't help us. Health-wise, we can make the Mantis a 5 HP unit, or we could just buff its damage. Yeah, we should, we should buff the Mantises. K 
Kingfisher already has a duplication. I want bugs. Bugs duplicate. We could have bugs get stronger, that way the other mantis gets stronger, but we already have two mantises with that effect on it. Honestly, birds getting stronger is pretty good. Plus damage on grizzly or plus HP on tentacle. Uh. Plus HP on the Mantis is better, because it gets us to five, I think. What even is the lore of this game, says Pixely. That's like super spoilery, so I don't want to say anything. <laughs> but that is like super spoilery. Look, I gotta be honest, like, we could focus on the eggs. I don't care. I wanna buff the mantis. Because right now we need to get... If I buff the grizzly, we gotta add another four attack card. You know? I'm just gonna buff the mantis. Schrodinger's lore. There's a lot of lore in Inscription. It's a very story-heavy experience. Keep hitting outside the map anyway, says Lenore with the mantises. There will become a day when we don't attack outside of the map with the mantises. Dude, Kingfisher, mantis, mantises, good cards. Uh, I will be... I mean, I, I like this. Super early Mantis is gonna just carry us for a little while. Leaping traps won't even attack the Mantis or destroy it. It'll become a Mantis God and then it'll destroy this trap. Three leaping traps for one card. That's what we've just accomplished. Although we don't get wolf pelts if they don't kill a unit, so that's um that's a mistake. <laughs> it's fine, now that I understand it. Well, I want the pelts is the thing. I made a mistake, but I still want these pelts in my hand. And I still want these kingfishers on the board. If I buff the other kingfisher, we pretty much win already anyways. Not gonna be able to play the tentacle though, which is a, a nice damage card, but that's fine. Yeah, we already have lethal. A skunk that has super ultra mega super trifurcation, lovely. Can I even do anything with these? Does it matter? Here you go. Here's what I'm gonna do for you. There you go. Play a skunk. It's not major overkill, but I don't care.
Ouroboros. There you are. I haven't seen you in a long time. <laughs> what are you? You're a lizard? Dude, we can make Ouroboros a 5-5. Five five. And then it'll... All we need is a 4. We just have to kill the card like six times. <laughs> and it's a lizard. Okay, okay. Let me think. We have one floor to do this on. I really like this path right now, but we do have three pelts, so left path might be a little bit better here. Ah, oh, but the right path is just so much better. Card removal included. We'll probably go left. Um, so we need we need to kill Ouroboros a lot, and we need a wolf in the deck at some point. But we need a four health, five health, five attack, and a wolf. We're, we're actually very close to getting there. None of these count, unfortunately. Kingfisher gives us a better card, or it becomes stronger, so I kind of like that. And we need a wolf. But a coyote we can definitely play, and it's cheap. So we'll probably take Coyote Kingfisher. And then we have one wolf. Rattler with, ooh, double strike Rattler is pretty good. It doesn't buff us at all, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, unfortunately these don't give us what we need. Rattler damage bonus gets it to four. Grizzly damage bonus gets it to five. If we set the Grizzly to 5, get a 4-4, four, four, and buff the health of a Mantis to 5, we're there. Rattler's real. Rattler is so good. It does 6 damage. There's a Merge up ahead. Oh, there was a Mushroom over on the right path. How do we get five health? We need a four health card. This is not a health upgrade though. Um. Okay, if we buff the grizzly attack to five and get a campfire that's health, all we need is a four, four Ouroboros. So we're almost there. Fingers crossed. Get these dang eggs hatched. Ah, man, I love getting that mantis. How much health do you have? One? All right, not the best. I wish the Mantis gained attack, but it definitely does not gain attack. It's kind of a lot of damage. It's not enough to counteract the wolves, though. We're gonna be one damage away from lethal. I don't think there's anything we can get that will save us. That's my Ouroboros. Can't play it though. I mean, like literally I could play it, but it's just gonna come back to my hand. Four, we're gonna take, I think we're gonna probably take a lethal amount of damage. Let's see. Five. 
six, seven, uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna take a lethal amount of damage. Just need a, I, 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 I'm, I wish the mantises gained damage and not, oh, we only had one life. No, I forgot we took the one life. Single candle. <laughs> oh no, that was unfortunate. We we can't take that in the future. One one candle is too uh too reliant on RNG. But we almost managed to get the eggs. Ouroboros could have done it, but we we have to play it, sacrifice it, and kill it way too many times. I think to really make it pop. We got close though. We will try it again. <laughs> <laughs> 